Hi everyone, this is June, um, and I'm here at the Ananda Marga Jagriti. It's like a yoga house of some sort, and I'm interviewing Dada Muktat Mananda, who is a monk from Ananda Marga right now. So, Dada, say hello. Hi everyone. So, what is that? That is a namaste, a namaskar. It means a salutation, spiritual salutation. Okay. So as you know, I'm into um, asking questions about life and stuff like that while enjoying living foods from nature. And so because we have finished eating, so these questions tend to come up. And my first question is, um, do you think there is a part of us that is infinite and there's a part of us that is finite, meaning a part of us that remains forever and a part of us that um, that ends, that sort of... That perishes. Yeah. Yes, I think the soul is uh, limitless. The nature of the soul, the nature of the spirit is um, it is uh, formless, it has no defect, uh -huh. and it has no um, stain of any kind, and is pure consciousness. And that pure consciousness is the, the entity that it, it believes I exist somewhere as a John, Mary, Jane, Peter, Robert, uh, and, and those personas are limited. The, the mind and the body is limited. But that consciousness that uh, animates the, the human being, uh, the subjective part of a human being, is, is, uh, it, it belongs in an infinite ocean. Okay. So um, what you're saying is, if, if um, I say something wrong, correct me. Uh, the way I um, understand what you said is that there is a part of us that is infinite and that is the spirit. If I put it in some other terms, like a oneness sort of term, a general term is that I can call the life essence, would still would that still be true? That it is, the life essence is infinite, it's present in all of us, including non-living things and, and including all living things and it's omnipresent and it remains throughout the eternity. So it's still true? It, is it when it's I, I don't think that the terminology, like the nomenclature, like the names you give to it, makes any difference whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Life is sense, soul, the I, I am, the, the I feeling, the essence, the quintessence, the, mm -hmm. you know, People call it different names. Okay, but the essence is one, that it is infinite, its quality is that it's infinite and it's omnipresent yes, yes. and it's... Okay, cool. So we agree there. So what, am I, what about um, the one that is finite and the one that is um, changing, the one that stops being at a certain time? And the one that dies. Um, can you can we call that the mind? Uh, and the one that has polarity, uh, like liking and not liking, desire and aversion, and all these other things. Can we call that the mind somehow in a sort of oneness general concept? Yeah, you can call it ego. Uh huh. The the one that experiences everything, joy and sorrow. It's uh, it's the persona. Persona means the, the the characteristic of each ego is different for every human being. The way the ego expresses. But what it the expresses ego, in um, polarities. The tastes no? of the ego. The, what the ego likes, dislikes. You know, uh -huh. the, the, it's so it's so uh, individual. The persona is that individuality. But ego, in a sense, is um, is is uh, the part of uh, the mind. 
attached to this world, attached to the objects of the world, attached to pleasure, and undergoes um, torment, agony, fear, happiness, uh, sorrow. Uh, yeah, Good the and attachment bad. and the, and the, and and also enjoys all the euphoria, all the pleasure, all the um, you know ups of life. It, is it so? It's pop, pop, there are there is a polarity there. It changes somehow Co compared to the life essence. Well, yes, that um, everything that it's not a spirit, it's bound to flourish and perish. So um, everything it lives in cycles, like we're breathing, we're thinking in cycles, pulsating movement, and life and death is also part of that pulsation. Mm -hmm. In one moment you're living, in one moment you're dying, in one moment you're living again. So it go, goes pulsating. It's like a renovation. Death is only one step, one stage of renovation. In order to renovate, you have to, you have to, uh, you know, um, the body has to be um, uh, neutralized before you can get a new one. So it's like changing leaves of, of the trees in the autumn. It's just a renovation of life. Okay. So, uh, so are we that which is infinite and unchanging, like the life essence, or are we that which is changing and is the past polarities, um, or are we both? No, we are... Essentially, we are essence. what we realize. You are the soul, but if you think I am um, Julie and I live in this street and I study in this school and I am daughter of so and so and I was born such and such and I am a citizen of this country and um, I am a mother of such and such and I have such and such a dog named Charles then, uh, you know, uh, so far as that's all you know, then that's what you are. But if you realize deeper through some introspective, uh, deep thinking that, oh, I'm something more than all this, then you are also something more than all this. So. Okay, good. So we'll be back. We'll just have a, we'll just have a tea break, okay? Thank <laughs> you.